today I'd like to share with you a nice little template of the US trade size, that's 6 inches by 9 inches, cover and interior template, the self publishing starter kit for ebook and print. Now it's a kit of two parts. The first part made up of the covers. Now I say covers because there's more than one cover. In this kit you have a choice of eight covers and you can use them as simple ebook covers as shown here. Replace the design with your own fantastic cover designs or just use them as they are. The last cover, number eight, is a pre-designed print book cover. Change the graphics to suit your own fantastically designed cover. If you don't like the one that's there, use your own. And you can see there's room for an uh, ISBN number, there's the dot on the spine, you change the text, change the wording, change the blurb or the teaser, and the book title. And there's your cover for a print book. Not a hard cover, mind you, not a dust flap, just the print of a, a soft cover a novel. Now you've got a choice of eight covers to modify and they're all, all eight covers are there and you can see them. Um, some have got fancy covers, some not so fancy, but each single one of them, and they're all the same size I might add, you can change to suit yourself. You could keep these all in the same um, Affinity Publisher template file that you can pick up on my website and if you've got a series of eight books you'll see all eight covers there and you can keep them in line and compare them. It's an ideal kit for producing a series of books. Now as I said the kit of two parts and the second part is the interior and one interior fits all the covers. There are two master pages one with page numbers and one without so you can go either way. The paper page title, which is the lead page, dedication and table of contents are already in place. Now the TOC you'll have to build yourself of course because I won't know where the chapters are or anything like that but a table of contents is easy to build and if you get lost I've got a video or two or three I think on the subject. Now the book contains an even number of pages which is actually ideal. I think it runs up to 24 pages in this one, or 26, or 28, I forget which, but never mind. Even number of pages makes it easy for binding, and of course it doesn't really matter if it's an ebook. One printer ebook, you've got one interior and one cover, and you can change the cover as you like. Now these may not be covers suitable for a lot of books, but with a little bit of work on your part you can change them to make whatever you like. They are the right size with the right bleed with the right margins everything is in place. All you've got to do is make them your own. Things to note Affinity Publisher does not do EPUB exporting only PDF. Maybe in the future I'd hope. Ebooks usually don't have a table of contents as they become meaningless so you can leave out the TOC if you're just producing an ebook, and remember that you have a cover and an ebook. So they don't go together. Don't put a nice coloured cover as the front page of the interior. Keep the cover separate because most ebook uh, publishers require you to upload the cover separately. Think of your ebooks as being reflowable text not fixed text. No images for ebooks unless you're intending distributing or otherwise converting your PDF files. Some sites, notably Apple, will do fixed format but you've got to design for that. It's no good just using the same file to cover both fixed and reflowable text. The, the, the images will end up all over the place and it looks terrible. You've seen books that look terrible I'm sure. Uh, images all over the place, text without images, images without text. Now these templates can be found on my website 
in the usual places. Thanks for watching this fun little exercise. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. It keeps me going.